Where the vlogs at? They're right here, damn it. We're back. Do they not know how this channel started? First and foremost, <laughs> they had... <laughs> Here's what I'll say. This channel was founded on vlogs, which I could not be happier with. It was like our outlet to be able to show our true selves or like 90% true, because I do be capping sometimes. We got to show our true selves, document our kind of LA move in and this new chapter. And then we started doing reactions because we love doing reaction videos and commentary. And then those started getting far more views. So it makes sense. We just did more reactions and then they took over and then it became a commentary channel as opposed to a vlog channel, but I kept seeing the comments. These random bullshit vlogs of us just hanging around and stuff. I know how much they mean to y'all, not just me, Noah and Rob too. So we're bringing them back. And here's the thing, I'm a YouTuber, so I wanna do everything to get more views, but we'll also do a lot of copywritten stuff that won't get us any money, but I know it makes a good video. And I genuinely care more about how the videos affect others than like view count. It's it sounds a bit contradictory, but what I'm saying is I would much rather make content that I genuinely want to make and it actually has a real world impact that makes people feel better than like sell out and put on a monkey suit and go like this and then get 20 million views. I don't want that, and I don't think you guys want that either, so we're going back to our roots. No, we want the vlogs. I'm tired of the reaction. First off, those that have been here from the beginning, you guys know how many vlogs we've done before we even did one reaction. I think we sprinkled in like seven in 2021, and then it was around November, December time. They were just picking up steam. We were just playing the YouTube game. And for me, I just thought it was funny when people thought that the vlogs were over completely, when it's like, no, we are just doing what we need to do to keep growing the channel make it healthy, get a bigger, more eyes on our channel. And now we're just gonna sprinkle these in as well. We're not gonna be strictly vlogs, not gonna be strictly reactions. Damn, we might come up with another genre or style for this channel that we, none of us have even thought of yet. This channel originally was supposed to be something that all three of us wouldn't have to stress about every week on like, what kind of crazy idea do we need to do today? We just were like, hmm. A lot of y'all from what you guys have seen are interested in just our hot takes, just what we be doing. And we're just navigating this life day by day. So I think yes, now we will get a little more active. I think we'll come up with like a schedule, maybe two reaction and one vlog a week. We haven't figured it out yet, but we will mix in everything. For us, that's fun because it's summertime now. We all have some fun things coming up. It's time for us to just like go out and about. Also just talk around the crib and you guys can finally get some more insights about whatever we got going on. So the vlogs are back. They never left, first off. <laughs> facts, um, facts. They technically never left. They technically never left. We have some in the vault. We have some big vlogs coming out soon and we have a whole bunch more that we can constantly get for y'all. So they're back. Yeah, Noah made a good point there. It's like, we did what we had to do. Luckily, we love doing reactions, so it's a blast that we sit there, chat a little bit, it gets edited, chopped up, and then you guys get to see it. We love doing that, but ain't nothing better than just sitting here saying a bunch of stuff to the camera and then having people actually resonate and learn things and like, it becomes a community where people are bouncing off ideas and saying, oh, I agree with that. Oh my God, I learned so much. It's the best thing ever. It's the best job you could ask for. So the reactions help get us a smooth millie. So this is the thank you for a million video also. I'm excited. Like I've been dying to do more vlogs because I'm just a fucking chatterbox. I have so many things to say in this video. You'll see, I just have so many things to just update y'all on and ask you guys questions and just toss out some of my thoughts. It's crazy. And recently in some of the reactions, people were loving them for the longest time. And then they start to turn on you. You guys are haters. You guys are hypocrites. And I'm like, ah, oh, shit. Oh man. We've said too much. Uh, yeah. Once you start saying a bunch of stuff, you will be caught in a hypocritical statement. These guys are shallow. They're douchebags. You guys are shallow douchebags. I used to fuck with the channel, but ever since you said one thing that I disagreed with, it's just kind of never been the same. It's not that deep. You're critiquing everything. Can't win. You can't win. It's part of the game. It's part of the game. It's part of the YouTube game. I will say it here. I'm guilty of being a hypocrite, and as is everyone else, but that's okay. The beauty of what we're doing here is we are simply documenting our lives, experiences, and thoughts as we grow up. So I'll look back at this video in five years and be like, ah, youngster Rhino was just doing this and that and I was thinking about this. And I hope you guys too, you guys can grow along with us. That's really the aim of this. So if we said something in a tone that you guys didn't like, or we had a take that you were like, I disagree with that. That's perfectly okay. Me and Noah disagree. Me and Rob disagree. Rob and Noah can disagree. It's perfectly normal and healthy. And we're just here to keep it going. I wanna try to remain as positive as possible. 
yeah, I feel the need to set a good example. But at the same time, I'm like, I'm not perfect. So I'm like, am I a role model? But I'm like, do I want to be a role model? Well, you have followers. Don't you have to be a role model? Don't you have to say the right things and make everyone happy? I don't know. Yeah, just set us up for that one, especially since we were always playing characters. So coming off of that and then transitioning straight to, oh, now we can have people listen to what we have to say. It's like, oh shit, we do have like millions of eyes on us now. Granted, this vlog won't get a million views, but yeah, it's like, should we be motivating and giving people our unsolicited advice or give them things that we think they should do? Or it's, hmm, here's what I have to say about this. Take what you want with what we say and do what you need with that. But also there are things that I think that we're actually passionate about where we will say like, guys, if you're in this situation, you should probably do this and look out for this, this and this. Yeah, I feel like that's a toss up, but we have a blessed opportunity to put the badge on us that we can be role models or we can have people listen to us. Here's a thought. Do you want to be a role model? I guess because we've been blessed to have supporters from what we do, I feel like it's my duty almost to do it, but like I don't have to do it. It's strange because whenever I'm speaking to the camera, I know I can't say anything too crazy or too ridiculous because I know I'm gonna get backlash. I'm gonna get, you're this, you're that, which happens regardless, even if I said something nice. I could say, I love apples, and someone would say, what about the pears? You can't win on the internet in 2022. Everyone is extremely imperfect but when you put your life and opinions and deep thoughts and insecurities and all these things out for the public, it's like fish food. People will eat it up and do with it what they want and you're subjecting yourself to scrutiny. And it's like, damn, do I really wanna be scrutinized all the time? Us humans weren't really meant to be facing this level of scrutiny all the time. Yet, there's a lot of pros that come with it. I was at this um, place in uh, Orange County. Bro, I'd be popular in Orange County. I go there. Every time someone knows me. Catch me in Orange County. I go there all the time to get my ego boosted. And the girl was like, oh my God, can I get your autograph? And I was like, sure, fuck it, all right. I signed it and I was like, she wants my whack ass autograph? Does she know that I'm like a loser? I wouldn't just say that I'm some sort of, uh, I'm the almighty, it's, it's crazy. And then I'm like, well, maybe I am cool. I'm like, well, you can't get too cocky. It's crazy, I'm going on a crazy rant. I'm saying all this to say, thank you to those watching and those who are begging for the vlogs because we're happy to have it back. It, it, it can be stressful, all the different things that you have in your, in your life. You guys have uh, this school year coming up and this is happening and you are looking for a job and you might not have friends and there's all these things that happen and we, we deal with the same things. So the main channel got hit with strikes and it killed the views. I said, okay, I'll, I'll live in a box. So this was fun while I lasted, but I'm gonna just go be on the street now because what the fuck am I doing? Being on this channel, specifically Strawberry Park, is like what well, keeps me going. So I appreciate you guys. I'll let Noah give his closing thoughts. Please subscribe now. We're giving you a vlog. This is what y'all been waiting for. No, I think Ryan summed it up really well. It's uh, it's a weird, when we hit this million milestone, I don't think I appreciate it as much as I should. I didn't get this like, holy fuck, we did that. It was like, huh. I guess that was bound to happen, but it's amazing to see the response from you guys outside of all the reactions that you guys like these more in-depth videos where we just kind of just shoot the shit. So everybody's going through something and you know, all you can do is just make every day the best you can as cliche and corny as that sounds because what you think you're going through, somebody else is going through. Obviously your own problems have your own weight, so don't disregard them, but uh, we're all going through something and it's not easy, but I think when you can just like live a little and don't take everything too seriously or like get too upset about a lot of things, you can kind of have a little bit more fun and see a little more light in your gloomy days. And that's easier said than done, but I don't know, maybe just keep that in the back of your head because we all try to do the same thing sometimes. What you said there about the million thing, I couldn't agree more. Everyone was congratulating me. I didn't even do a post necessarily for a million. Like once I get that damn black, you know, I'm taking a picture with that. But I saw it hit a million and I was like, I felt Nothing, which sounds bad, but when you see people in real life, when one girl at a boba shop asks for my autograph, that gives me a different feeling, a much better feeling than looking at a number go, oop, because mm -hmm. that's a real person. This is just a number on a digital screen. I think we've just been seeing them for so long. We're like numb. It, exactly, and it's- But like, it's like, good job, pat on the back, but it's like, oh yeah. And, and then it's like, now what? <laughs> it's not like you won a Grammy and now you are a staple in the music industry. And, and not everybody has this. It's like, this is the entertainment industry where if you do not keep posting things and doing things and saying the right thing and innovating, but sticking true to your roots, if you 
you don't do it, someone else is gonna come up in your spot, take your thing, and you'll be a memory. How many of those videos you see, what happened to so-and-so? The downfall of this and that. Bro, if we get a downfall video, oh <laughs> and I, shit. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, damn. Like, it could happen. We are, in a sense, characters in people's eyes. Like, we're these little figures on this digital thing, on their thing. And then they turn the phone off, and then we cease to exist. And then they see me at Ikea. Right now? What's up, bro? Oh, yeah, I used to watch your videos all the time. I said, used to. Uh, hey, thanks for supporting me back then. Uh, Appreciate it. They're like, you still make videos? I go, yeah, still doing it. Every week? Every, every week, man. Uh, Strawberry Park, check it out. The main channel, we still doing stuff. We went and spoke to a middle school, saw that girl, she was in college, and I was like, Am I that old? What the fuck? People have grown up with us and people's watching patterns change. Someone just discovered us today. Someone has been watching us for six years. Someone watched us for one year, stopped, came back in a year, watched us a little bit and then stopped again. And now I get these people coming up to me. I used to watch you. I just found you. Some person, I saw them watching our video in person. I was at a mini golf place. He said, no way. He turned his phone and he was watching a reaction. I said, this is crazy. So I'm really just chatting and just rambling and hopefully hoping you guys kind of resonate with something or like kind of understand our perspective. Yeah, I don't think there's one big takeaway from that. Like that's just what's going through our head. I mean, look around here real quick. I'll give you all a little update. And we also have the main thing of this vlog was we're getting rid of the intro. Mm. The intro is gone. Here's the thing. I love that intro more than I love it myself it's a true representation of like our personality so we loved playing it you saw me with the girls fighting each other i really be living that life where your uh, things be happening and then my love life no doing the dead body in the trunk that guy who we threw in the trunk actually just moved and that car actually got totaled raw with the urinal come on that is funny that's funny what happens is on youtube if you look at our vlog there's a retention graph so you see how long people watch a video you see where people Leave. Even, I can even pop a screenshot of that. We'll on. pop it up. You see where people will leave. You'll see where Sky Bree flashes her tits because you'll see everyone skips to that part. On the vlogs, everyone skips. Not everyone, but people skip that part. And our YouTube analytics team said, you're probably gonna have to cut it because you'll, you'll get more views and more people will see your videos if you take it out. I said, you can't even make fun stuff no you more. You can't be like necess you can't necessarily be original. Like we try to give a little bit of oh to the YouTube. Like hey, no one's really done something as quirky as this and as like well polished as this. <clears throat> Do the Mr. Beast thing and just start immediately. I was like, ah. You got your own YouTube team telling you? And you're, when your YouTube team says you'll get more views, more people will see your stuff if you take out the things that you love. <laughs> Come on, bro, you can't win on this shit. But I wouldn't want to do anything else. So we're, we're currently every day in this battle of trying to make things that people like, but things that will suit the algorithm, but things that we like so that we don't get burnt out. And yeah, we're, we're still moving and shaking. We got a new couch, we got the orange couch, bought these posters, the mural's gone. We bought these old, like 19, what is this from? 1950 or something, 1940s or something. In his lust for power, he forgot the joy of living. Me. Um, <laughs> the story of three loves. Us here at the apartment. We all be slanging. Shout out to these. I thought these were cool. Bro, the frames were dummy expensive. Bro, these frames are expensive. Well, it wasn't like three, like three. Bro, it was like four hundred a pop. It feels like four hundred dollars a pop. The posters weren't even that expensive. But I got this plant. I've been into plants recently. Shit. Who am I? The dishes. They're getting done. They're getting done. I wash these. We still got some more to do right here. Bread. You know, because we be getting that bread. We be getting that bread. I'm trying to. <laughs> if y'all would watch these videos. And the thing is, this video is not going to get many views. Unless we do a Drake review. Yes, we can. That's the only way. You, you have to do something to intrigue people who've never seen you before. Because y'all fuck with us. I'll watch the vlogs. I love them. I know you will. But we have to create more views. We have to create more supporters. Tylenol to take the fucking pain away from the headache to... People be giving me <laughs> my room. I'm not gonna show you my. Yeah, room. well, that'd be a whole nother one. That was a lot to take in, but all I can do is express my gratitude towards the people that tune in and have been asking for the vlogs. The people that tune into the reactions and love those. The people that.
excuse me, follow us on Instagram. Please follow us on Instagram. This is our life, this is our livelihood. I don't be doing anything else. Your support keeps the food on the table. We don't make the typical content that a lot of people are starting to make. We're trying to stay true to ourselves while at the same time catering to the YouTube algorithm. So thank you guys for sticking with us, being patient and understanding. If we ever say anything that you guys maybe disagree with or agree with, that's the name of the game. So thank you for tuning in regardless. Now the floor sticky. So I gotta do this little Swiffer thing. I bought this to be dirt on the floors and shit. Look at this jacket I bought. I got this at a oh, shit. Uh, thrift store. You can read this, you're too close. Oh shit. Back up. Fuck. We out.